see here with uh, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in my October daily album. Um, I'm starting off with the page protectors. Um, all the page protectors that I'm using are actually by Stamping Up, and I just really like the variety that they offer. Um, for instance, like this one, it has the two 3x4s uh, on the top and the 4x6 on the bottom. Um, and then they have like the opposite and uh, the opposite of that and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, a <laughs> long tangent about page protectors. Um, just offers more variety than the Simple Stories ones. In my Studio Calico kit, I got this 4x6 card that said October 2015, and so I thought that would be a really awesome way to start uh, my cover page. My cover page is pretty simple. I'm trying really hard not to make my album really thick, and so I didn't want to like go kind of embellishment heavy um, on one page, and but to spread them out, I guess. So... I'm using the sticky thumb glue stick to adhere down this uh, spiderweb doily that's from Michaels and I'm spreading the doily um, across two cards and uh, it was a little bit trickier than I intended it to be but I always make things harder than it needs to be um, so yeah definitely easier to put the glue on the card and not on the doily and it does it does dry um, clear um, so you aren't able to see uh, the adhesive on the orange card and then I trimmed down a four uh, uh, sorry a 12 by 12 paper specialty paper from crepe paper that's the black and with gold foiled polka dots I trimmed that down to make a three by four card um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the other car, the other card that I trimmed down is uh, like almost a blue uh, chevron, and I really like the blue in this collection. So I wanted to bring in the blue and the black and the orange. And now I'm just playing around with my ephemera pack, and I think I want to that bat on there, but I end up changing my mind a little bit later. And lo and behold, I found a spider in this collection. So I'm using the spider wood veneer uh, on the spider web doily. And yeah, I'm layering in behind this kind of chalkboard washi. Uh, I just like how it's like a solid black. And I'm using a gold uh, flag label from Michaels uh, to do a little tiny bit of journaling on the title card. And the bow that you see in the top left hand corner is also from Recollections and just got it in like a, I think it was like a 12 pack or a 9 pack um, at Michael's. Layering in some of the ephemera now, just these ticket pieces. I liked the purple ticket. Uh, I'm not, there's not a ton of purple uh, in the collection so I thought I would use it on the first page. I like the ticket because it has 31 and there's 31 days in October. And then I just use this other blue um, kind of tickety thing uh, to bring in the blue from the other card. And I just layer them together with my tiny attacher and add the bow. Uh, the bow is a little bit bulky so I end up moving it and putting it on the outside of the page protector a little bit later. So that's pretty much all the embellishments I do. I'm adding a little bit of journaling. It's just saying, um, documenting the tricks and treats of October um, 2015. Just a little bit of journaling, right, to just tell people kind of what the album is about. And then I use these enamel dots from Recollections, and they are crap. Like, they don't stick at all. So I do... Um, I leave most of them, but they come off and on, so I might have to go back and adhere them down with a little bit of adhesive. But yeah, so I just tuck those in. I have to do a little bit of trimming um, just to get them to fit into the pockets. And here I am moving the bow to the outside, and I really like the way that that turned out. And the doily kind of, there's the enamel dots coming off. The doily, um, came up a little bit as well so I just have to tuck in all the little parts. 
So now we're on the album. So this is October 1st, and I picked up my daughter from her day home, and she, they had played with apples that day, I guess, because um, the neighbor uh, had, like, a huge pile of apples from her apple tree, and so all the kids, like, got to pick an apple, and anyways, uh, on our way out, uh, the day home woman gave Nora an apple, and she thought it was, like, the best toy ever. Ever. She was so excited to have this apple all to herself and so here we are outside um, just hanging out with this apple and the smile on her face is just like priceless. So I just trimmed down a paper from the paper pad and layer on uh, this chipboard flag uh, bunting and try to trim off some of the chipboard but my scissors are crap and I need to get some better ones so I kind of messed up this the top there, so I'm just uh, using some glossy accents to kind of cover up my little mistake. And then these thickers I just got from Michaels, but I thought that they were really they matched really well with the collection. Um, they're orange and glittery, and so I just put yum because I wanted to put the word apples, but there wasn't enough room. Um, and I didn't really want to take up a bunch more of the card because the bunting kind of already takes up a lot of space. So I put yum. And then I remembered I should probably have the number or the date somewhere on the card. So now I'm just kind of figuring out um, how I want my journaling and where I want to put the number. Ideally, I would love to have the number like on one of the top photos, but because it's black, it just kind of would have faded in. So I just layer it on top of one of these labels. And I'm just thinking now if I want to add anything else. So I pull out some brads and um, some tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz. And this washi, it's like a black glittery washi, and I tried to peel off the backing. I think I got this from the dollar store last year. Um, tried to peel off the backing, and it's like really poor quality. So end up just leaving the backing on and then using some of that adhesive uh, just to adhere it down. Because it's kind of flaking off and stuff. And then I just find that tiny word sticker that says happy and put it on top. And I really like the way that that looks. It's really simple, but I just really like the way it turned out. And then I'm just adding some journaling about how happy Nora was with her apple. And how she ate it like a big girl. And um, yeah, the whole way home she was just like laughing and giggling about having this apple. So yeah. And that is that spread. So I'm just putting them in, and I do end up adhering um, the, sorry, like the reverse pages to, sorry, the opposite pages to each other, if that makes sense. Uh, just because I don't really like seeing the white in behind, so I do off camera end up um, adhering them together and doing a little bit of trimming. This um, orange glittery striped paper is also a specialty paper um, that I bought in 12 by 12 and I just trim it down uh, to be a 4 by 6 and I use one of those Recollections uh, pumpkin doilies um, and just add that to the top left hand corner and do a little bit of trimming. I was just going to put the number 2 um, in the middle of the doily, but then in my ephemera pack, I find um, a little tag uh, that's so cute. I really like how it says October, and it has a little pumpkin and a little cat. So then I just pull in those orange glittery thickers to the opposite side of the spread uh, on the tag and put the number two for October 2nd. And so yeah, this is a photo of these really delicious sugar cookies that they carry at Walmart. And they always have like seasonal cookies. But these cookies are so yummy. Like I could I could eat so many of them. But um, anyway, so I bought some uh, Halloween cookies on this day. And yeah, they have like little ghost sprinkles. They're so cute and delicious. So yeah, so I added some baking 
baker's twine uh, in orange and black to that tag. And like stuff like that makes my album so chunky, but I really like the way it looks. And I doubled it up so that it's like really, really sticks out. So that probably makes it even more bulky, but I really like it. Using a black flag label and a little chipboard piece that says, All I want is candy. Uh, even though these are cookies, I thought it was applicable. And then just add some black um, enamel dots just to bring in some more black to the bottom uh, picture. And that is day two done. Now we're on to day three. This is going to be a double page spread. So because it was the weekend, I had a few more photos, so that's why that, well, really there's only two photos for this day, for Saturday, but um, when I got up in the morning, Nora and I were going to a library program, and on our driveway, it must have been really windy, like, the night before, because on our driveway, there was all of these beautiful leaves just kind of all piled up. And it had all the dew drops and things like that. So before I reversed my car and drove over the leaves, uh, I snapped this photo. And it's just taken on my iPhone. And it is absolutely stunning. Like, I, this is probably the most favorite photo that I've ever taken of, like, nature and stuff. Um, so it is just gorgeous to me. And I really, 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 really love it. And I just love the colors and the shapes of the leaves. And most of all, I just love the dew drops on there. So I didn't want to take too much away from the photos. So I picked a muted, more of a muted pattern uh, paper from the paper pad. And then this uh, craft colored frame is from the ephemera pack. So I just pop out the October and back it with uh, just some of the branding strip, uh, the white, the reverse of the branding strip, uh, just so that you can read the word October. And then I just use uh, some orange paper, chevron paper, to fill it in. And this three is from the thicker sheet, and it's actually intended to be used as 31, but I wanted something like with a really big ink impact to fill the frame so I chose to uh, separate the three and the one and uh, put the three inside the frame. I wanted to do some journaling about the photo as well so I layer uh, the Studio Calico label and this Recollections label um, on top of each other and just layer it in behind um, the craft frame and do some journaling about the leaves and how gorgeous it was um, to see them uh, first thing in the morning. And then I add uh, just a few of the Recollections uh, enamel dots in orange and black. So here I am adhering the photos back to back um, just so they don't shift around and you don't see um, the white border from the reverse side. And this is the last layout for this video. Um, it's of my husband and daughter eating suckers. We went to a restaurant for lunch and they gave us all suckers, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, I wasn't going to give my su <laughs> sucker to Nora, but when we got home, Erin sat down with her on the couch and they enjoyed a sucker together. So it's so cute because um, she's really enjoying it. And uh, yeah. It's a really, I really love the photo. So I just chose um, this kind of almost bingo card or game board card paper uh, from the pack because I knew I was going to do like a big cluster on top. So uh, I, I obviously, I don't really love the pattern. So I knew in covering it up, it would work out. So I trim um, this trick or treat from the cut apart sheet. Uh, layer in a vellum spider web, uh, use another paper clip, the blue, the blue um, little remnant is from uh, the tag that I used or the ticket I used on the cover page and so I just use that. And then there's this little arrow that says all I want is candy. Um, that is from, I think it's like Frankie and Friends collection that I bought last year. And so I have a few little ephemera pieces left over um, from last year's layouts and stuff. 
So I put that on there and I really like the way that that um, turns out. And now I'm kind of stuck because... Oh right, and I added this washi that I got in my October Studio Calico kit. It's like a white with a little tiny black and white polka dot. And just kind of layer that in between, or in behind, just to add a little bit more interest as well. So then I had this 3x4 orange card. Uh, I was kind of stuck as to what to do there. I knew I wanted to do some journaling. I thought I'd spell out the word suckers um, in thickers, but it just didn't work. It, well, there wasn't enough room. And so I move it to the photo. And then as I'm putting it on there, I think, well, maybe instead of the word sucker, I could put the word lolly or lollipop or something and on that orange card. But when I go to peel off the thickers, um, because the photos are like kind of almost glossy, uh, it just it won't peel up nicely. So I just go ahead with the with the alphas on the photo. And then I do some journaling, but it seems a little bare. So I go back to the um, thicker um, sheet and add um, some gold glitter stars. And that's it. That's that layout. So it's pretty simple, but I really do like how it's turning out. Um, I have trouble using theme stuff, so this is kind of a huge leap for me. And yeah, I'm trying to make my choices uh, appropriate to the photos. And yeah, but thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!